The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'd like to dedicate a video to my North American Nintendo video game collection. And so, something I've pursued a long time, well over 25 years, and piece by piece, game by game, manual by manual, I'm down to now 55 boxes for North American set. Now, it's something I've pursued mostly in person, and, and I've gotten a lot of deals over the years. Recently, uh, Josh Hamlin, Place for Gamers, hooked me up with a, with a good sale of six boxes I need for my set. I uh, showcased those boxes, and then afterwards I'm going to showcase my NES set. Hope you enjoy. Take care. So here it is. Recent purchase from Place for Gamers, Josh Hamlin, and he was nice enough to sell me six boxes I need for my NES collection. Now I've been pursuing a complete box NES set for, oh, I don't know, <laughs> over 20 years, and there's probably no way I'm going to get a complete box set. I'll always probably be missing stadium events. That game is just really, you know, the one everybody's going to miss complete in box, and I'm okay with that. And really for me, it's just the fun of pursuing as much as possible over the years and and I was really excited that he had six boxes that um, that I was missing and worked out a pretty good sale with me and so the following so wampum box and manual uh, little ninja brothers uh, box and manual I was missing mermaids of Atlantis American video entertainment the manuals jacked up a little bit but again those are those are pretty tough to get especially with the uh, seal of quality sleeve that came with American Video Entertainment. Lemmings, already had a cart and manual, so just missing the box. Trolls on Treasure Island, again, the, uh, the manual's in really good shape. It's really nice to see that. With a, with a seal of quality sleeve. And last and definitely not least, Wally Bear and the No Gang, which I do believe is part of... Uh, I think I heard it was part of Nancy Reagan's Just Say No campaign. So uh, I thought that was pretty interesting. And uh, manual's in pretty good shape as well. This is going to be really neat to add to my nest collection. And a lot of people have been asking, hey, you know, let's see your nest collection. Okay, here we go. Here it is. Wanted to showcase my box nest collection so far in 2017. I've been collecting about 25 years and I started collecting Nintendo and I just pick them up as I go along and it's gotten pretty tough to add boxes to my collection but I still try to do it. And here's some ones that were in a far corner that I had to pull out just to show it. You know I have a just a card only of Caltron and Action 52. I also have weird stuff like Zelda 2 Adventure Link. And it's like a promotional copy. Kind of has a cool sticker on it. It's in really good shape. So back up here. Again, missing silly stuff like Adventure Island 2. And I try, you know, I try to have a standard. Um, if, if I don't have the box and the box I can get the box cheap then I'm obviously gonna gonna purchase it many of the games are in great shape 8 out of 10 some are better some are worse some some have maybe some sun fade or something but again I've gotten these over the years and just wanted to kind of slowly showcase my collection it's my box Flintstones now yes I'm missing the manual but just happy to have it Got that a long time ago. Wife purchased it for me, and it was at the time about 180 bucks. And the person who pretty much we bought it from had the box and threw the box in. It was a crazy lucky score. So again, I'm missing missing some hard to find boxes. Some some not so not so rare, like George Foreman's KO boxing. Missing silly stuff like that. But just really appreciate kind of collecting over the years and people I've met who've wanted to contribute to my collection or purchase stuff from. You know, Josh Hamlin, Corey Strite, Video Game Wizards, Chuck Van Pelt, 
I, I the list could go on and on, but I really just am uh, very grateful for anybody who wanted to contribute to my collection or sell me something. Again, it's uh, it's 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 such a neat system to collect for the different boxes, the box art. Here's my bubble bubble part two. It's in really good shape. Sometimes I got really lucky and my Bucky O'Hare. It's in really good shape. And many of the many of the, the games are in excellent shape. Some are a little bit beat up or shelf wear as they say. But I just wanted to kind of show how far I've came in 25 years of collecting. This is something I didn't purchase just off eBay. All these games, I would say 95 to 7 per 97 percent, all in person, at conventions or through trades, and just uh, it's been fun. It's been fun, kind of to pursue the nest set. And, you know, to definitely just to kind of see how far I can get. I have doubles. Sometimes if there's a variation or something, I'll try to collect doubles. But I'm out of room. You know, it's uh, <laughs> just now kind of pursuing stuff or kind of upgrade my boxes if I come along. My stack of boxes is a little messed up. That's okay. Just I haven't. I think done a video of just my nest box by box nest collection. I've had some requests. So people wanted to say, hey, let me see your box nest collection. Okay. And this is not including my homebrews. My homebrews are boxed up. I'll just pursue it as best I can. This is kind of hard to uh, show it because it's just, you know, it's in a, such a tight space. You're probably wondering. All right, so some people are probably want to see the big ones. I just have a a loose little Samson, so just to get that out of the way. My Cheetahman here is sealed. The sealed Cheetahman, and good friend Jesse got to trade for my Panic Restaurant, which I'm really really glad I did that. And it's not in the best shape. I mean, it's 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 definitely in, in better shape <laughs> than most. And so, but I mean, it's, this is like, the Panic Restaurant actually is in better shape than I remember. To be quite honest. But yeah, this Panic Restaurant and the big one, Stadium Events. Here it is. Dun dun dun. That's my Stadium Events. It's good shape. What's really cool is Corey of Classics and Oddities hooked me up with <laughs> a photocopied manual of it. Pretty neat, you know, having a having a manual that's like you know it's photocopy. So this was actual rental store photocopy of stadium events. Man, I would <laughs> would love to be around that video store and that went out of business. So and there you have it. That's my box nest collection. Thank you so much to anybody out there who's viewed, subscribed, and liked any of my videos. I appreciate it so much. It means the world to me. I also have a Patreon in which anybody for as little as a dollar a month can get an exclusive video. Thank you so much. Hats off to all my fans and viewers around the world. You're awesome. This is the immortal John Hancock. Take care.